it's wonderful that uh, CLF has put together a wonderful conference to push the ideals of the awaking. It's so important. Something is deep on my heart is that is the nerve of the church. The Bible says in Romans 1 verse 16, I'm not ashamed, Paul says, of the gospel of Jesus Christ for the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe. We cannot be ashamed. And whenever people aren't talking much, it's usually because they're quiet on subjects or they're afraid to speak up about it. And not only that, the awaking is important because many are asleep. Do you not know that many of the struggles that Jesus had with the disciples, Peter in particular, is that he had a sleeping disorder. Peter kept falling asleep when it was time to pray or to stay awake and be watchful concerning the things of Jesus Christ. On the Mount of Transfiguration, they were there falling asleep. And even in the uh, in the prayer garden where Jesus had them there in the garden while they were praying, and Jesus said, can you watch with me one hour? And they kept falling asleep. Three times he had to wake them up. My question is, church, as young people say today, we have to stay woke. You have to awake to what God is doing right now. And we can't be afraid nor sleepy on the subject matters that matter because family is important. The world that we live in today is trying to push us away from the principles of God. Principles have to do with first things first. In the word principles, you see the word prince, which means first. And anyone that has principles put first things first. Jesus Christ says that we are to have him first in our lives, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. What's the kingdom of God? That is what God desire is, his rule, his way, his dominion, what he wants to happen, his will and his way. When we surrender to what is the will of God, then we can see the promises of God because God is only driven to fulfill his own word. And so when we tell God about his word and we share his word and trust his word, we can understand our rights in the earth. So let's be awakened to the truth of God's word and to brothers and sisters alike so that we can walk together and bring about the peace that God desires. I want to encourage each and every one of you in this amazing conference that will be in New York, CLF of the World Conference that will take place 2020 this year, of course, I know it's going to be amazing. And I want to invite you to come out and be a part there in New York, a part of the CLF Conference. Don't you dare miss it. Gracious Father, we thank you. Thank you for having an ear to hear what we're saying and speaking to you, oh God. We need your guidance, your ordering of our steps as we unite together. You said where there's unity, there's strength. You even said in Psalm 133 through David that wherever you see unity, you command a blessing. I pray for pastors and leaders across the globe, not just in America, but across the world, that God, you will order their steps, that you will pour wisdom in them to know how to touch a hurting world. Thank you for our amalgamating and coming together that we might be the people that you desire, that we might see a great work, a great awakening in this nation. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.